Hello, it's David. Just a really short one here in response to uh, a message I was sent on the Exos forum by uh, by Microman. And um, hello there, Peter. Thank you very much for your your post. Uh, this is related to the ACSI to STM uh, prototype build uh, that I uh, that I made a little while back. Um, and what he's pointed out is that uh, I've used here. Got to disconnect at the moment. I've used here a five volt uh, SD card module. This is the sort of thing that you normally get to work with Arduinos, uh, and it, uh, sure enough, it ta takes uh, five volts in, and it's got its own voltage regulator. A bit of a voltage level converter there as well. Now uh, he points out that not all of the pins on the the STM32 that's on the blue pill there are five volt tolerant, and in fact the ones that are used for the SD card are not. Uh, and he's wondering how this works, how I haven't uh, blown the bottom off my STM32. And I'll be honest, I didn't know that they were uh, not all 5 volt tolerant. Um, and I've already got one dead blue pill here. I've uh, taken the STM32 off and sure enough it is toast. So it's possible that I have indeed uh, fallen foul of uh, basically ordering the wrong uh, SD card. Uh, module here. I actually have a 3.3 volt one now. I, uh, I bought this for uh, a follow-up project that uh, uh, you haven't seen yet because I, uh, truth be told, haven't yet managed to uh, debug it yet. And this one, uh, sure enough, it's 3 volts 3 in. Uh, it's got chips let, MOSI, clock, MISO and ground, which is uh, the same as this but in a different order, except that this one obviously takes five volt focus. Uh, this one obviously takes five volt VCC. So I thought okay let's uh, let's have a test. I guessed I knew the answer but I wasn't 100% sure so let's measure it. So this is my my theory. The, the pins on the uh, the SD card adapter here are uh, basically um, mostly inputs. So the chip select, or the card select in this case, comes from the STM32. The clock comes from the STM32. The master out slave in comes from the STM32. The master in slave out, aha, uh -huh, that's the one, that's the reply from the SD card. VCC is the power out and ground. So there's only one MISO, master in slave out, that is actually driving voltage into the input pin of the STM32. So the trick is, I think, to stick our oscilloscope on that pin. So that's uh, the third from the end here. So I've uh, got my probe hooked up here. I'm going to pop my oscilloscope onto that pin. I'm going to slot it back into place if I, uh, if I can do that whilst I'm retaining the connection. There we go, and I'm going to try and uh, boot up and measure some output on the oscilloscope. So firstly, let's uh, let's throw the power switch, make sure that we haven't uh, shorted anything out, and that we actually get to the desktop. Okay, there we go. So uh, ICD is uh, the ICD utilities are detecting the hard disk, and there we go. We've got our drive D visible. Back to Steadicam. So that's working. I haven't shorted it out with the uh, um, with the probe. So what we're going to do is fire up the oscilloscope down here. There she is. And we're going to, we've set a two volt per division. Maybe get you in a bit closer. We've set a two volt per division um, uh, Y axis here. We're going to be asking it to measure the uh, voltage top. Uh, we're triggering on a positive pulse. And 
I've just got it on one there and we're going to access the hard drive and see what uh, uh, what happens. So I'm going to try them on bash.tos that won't work but it'll be a nice big executable for us to load so there we go and there we are I can one stop that oh, that wasn't a very interesting one let's try that again there we go we've got ourselves some uh, square waves and sure enough look at this the voltage top is 3.31 volts that's the only pin that is sending voltage back to the STM32 it doesn't need to up convert that to 5 volts because most uh, modern uh, equipment will uh, quite happily take 3.3 volts as high even if they're a 5 volt component so the three point the, the voltage coming back from it's 5 volt tolerant it'll accept volts going into it 5 volts going into it but the voltage coming back on the uh, master in slave out pin the meso pin is still at 3.3 volts and you can see that that is pretty much absolutely dead flat so uh, so thank you uh, microman uh, for your message it's not something i was aware of it was worth a look but uh, as i suspected uh, the uh, the, uh, the little uh, sd card adapter there isn't that complicated it doesn't boost the voltage up when uh, there we go it's running now doesn't boost the voltage up when it's sending the uh, the signal back it just relies on the fact that any modern component is plugged into is going to treat 3.3 as a high even if it's a 5 volt Arduino.